Hey everybody, Sean here, and welcome to Revealing Truth. Brother John Eldon shared this with me the other day, and the clip we'll look at today is with Chris Reed saying that the restrainer is Satan. For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath because he knows he has a short time. Oh, what am I saying? I believe Satan is the one who's doing the restraining. And this is what we'll look at in a moment. I believe Satan is the one who's doing the restraining. Now, you don't have to agree with me on this. This is my opinion, but it's a strong opinion. Strong opinion? No, it's not. Just listen. This is my opinion, but it's a strong opinion. And let me explain it to you. Satan is the one restraining. Once he is cast down in Revelation 12 and 10, he then enters into the Antichrist and the man of sin is revealed. So let's look at Revelation 12. It says that the devil and his angels were cast out of heaven and they deceived the whole world. The world was being deceived by Satan from the very beginning in the Garden of Eden. For the past 6,000 years, Satan has been on earth deceiving people. 1 Peter 5.8 tells us that Satan is prowling around like a lion looking for someone to devour. So Chris loosely connecting Satan being cast out of heaven as to being at the same time the Antichrist is revealed doesn't make sense. And verse 10 that he's using doesn't say anything of the sort. But let's continue. But remember, he doesn't want this to happen. Everybody says, oh, the devil would love to get us accelerated and get us to Armageddon. I don't believe so. I don't believe so either. And I've never heard someone say that the devil would like to speed things up to get us to Armageddon. That's his losing battle that results in him being cast into the pit for a thousand years. And of course, we're going to have some different eschatological views on this, but this is how I understand it. So let's continue. I don't believe so. This, this is why I believe Satan is the restrainer. Because once he is cast down and the heavens are cleansed once and for all, and he loses all access to the heavens, and all he can do is concentrate all of his energy, power, and work on the earth, he knows that at that moment he has but a short time. Once again, he's connecting verses that don't support each other. And we have to remember that a short time to the devil who's existed with God since he was created is going to be different than what you and I would consider short. But now he twists things even more. Once the restrainer is removed from the second heavens, Satan's time is short and he's afraid of that. So this is another strange thing to say that Satan is in the second heaven because that's like outer space. When the apostle Paul went to heaven, it was the third heaven where God is. So if Satan is accusing the brethren day and night to God, as we read in Revelation 12:10, then it's not in the second heaven because he's before God. If we look at 2 Thessalonians 2, we read that the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan. If Satan was the restrainer, why would he be restraining the evil he wants to do? That's like Satan working against himself. Who the strainer is exactly, scripture is not clear, but he is the one holding back the advancement of the Antichrist. And that's definitely not Satan. The two identities of who the restrainer could be usually comes down to either the Holy Spirit or Michael the Archangel. But that's a whole other topic. Chris Reed is the only person I've ever heard say that Satan is the restrainer. He's a false prophet that's taken over another false teacher's ministry. Anyone that supports Rick Joyner, who supported granny kicking Todd Bentley, is obviously deceived and deceiving others. And we've been warned of this in 2 Timothy 3.13. And that evil men and imposters, these are evil wolves in sheep's clothing. They're imposters. And they're going to go from bad to worse, deceiving others as they themselves are deceived. Morningstar Ministries is a cesspool of false teaching and its leaders should be avoided at all costs. We're going to leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.